All right, I'm here with B. Will after the game. Uh, is Dub easy? Um, how, what would your you know ratings be for the for these two quarterbacks? Man, I'd give probably Willis. I'd give him a B probably. Mm-hmm. You know, he he did really well, and I think both of them did really well in the first half. Mm-hmm. And you know, I just think the thing that Willis could really work on is his like his not. I wouldn't say his pocket awareness, mm-hmm. but his timer in his head to either get rid of the ball or take off in the pocket because yeah. that was just lacking for him today. I mean, he, he improved on it a lot since last year, mm-hmm. but that's something that he can really improve on going forward. Mm-hmm. And Levis, I would say that last interception, that, that really left a bad taste in my mouth. I ain't going to lie. Absolutely. But that last interception would probably take him down to maybe a C or a C-. minus. I don't think he did bad by any means. I think it was, it was what you'd expect from a rookie quarterback in their first preseason game. I mean, everybody ain't C.J. Stroud coming in throwing interceptions. Uh-huh. Anthony Richardson throwing interceptions. Our rookie quarterback didn't throw – well, he did throw interceptions. But, <laughs> but you know, it's, right. it was late in the game and we was going for the game. That's yeah. what it was. It wasn't in the first quarter yeah. trying to get the first drive going. So, you know, I, I'd say a, a C, C- minus mm-hmm. for Levis and a B, a B for Willis. Gotcha. Yeah, and, and transition to the, to the big man up front, what do you think about the offensive line performance today? And what do you think uh, – they go from here, man. I think I think that offense line, that first string, it really eased a lot of concerns, honestly, man. Mm-hmm. Because going into this game, I was really concerned with Dillard, especially, and Dillard really held up really well in pass pro. And that first O line, they could do, they could have done a lot better mm-hmm. in their run blocking. Mm-hmm. But I think that'll come with time and them getting used to the scheme, right? But you know, I was really impressed with the ones, and I said it on the the sports section morning show Friday, but. If these ones, if they go out here and give a 10-play drive and they score a touchdown on the first drive, get them out of there. And that's exactly what, what Williams did, Williams mm-hmm. and Vrabel did. So I was extremely impressed with them. They were they were exceptional. I just hope they build on it and right. just get better every day and keep taking them licks from that defensive line we got in practice. Yeah, absolutely. They played really well, especially the first team. Um, if you could pick one player from from today that just really stood out, made a bunch of plays, flew around, who, who would you say that would be? Man, so it I wouldn't say it was a lot volume wise, but for what I saw from Tajay Spears, man, we've yeah, got a yeah. lot, we've got a lot to look forward to with him. Yeah. You know, I know Henry's gonna be our bell cow. There's no getting around that. He's gonna get most of the carries, but we've got a real gem in Tajay Spears as a third round, a third down back, and really just a back that'll spell Henry and give him, you know, give defenses something else to worry about. Cause mm-hmm. he was just I mean, the guy's shifty. He ain't got no ACL, but <laughs> But he's shifty as hell, right. and he was making guys miss. He was running hard, too, and he was decisive when he was running the ball, too. That's a big thing. He wasn't stutter-stepping and stuff in the backfield. He would take his cut, put his foot in the ground, and get upfield. That's what I like most about him. What do you What do you think is one thing that you want to see as a collective unit from the Titans as a whole from game one to game two? What's the biggest jump that you want to see? So, And I know this is this – is, I'm going to harp it on the defense, and this is the twos that it is. But that the twos and the threes, and they got better towards the end of the game. But we were absolutely getting gashed by by the run game in Chicago. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's something that, you know, Vrabel himself and the Titans as a culture, we just don't let teams run the ball on us. We were the number one ranked team in run defense last year. Mm-hmm. That's part of our culture. Teams are not going to run the ball on us. Right. So I want to see the twos and threes improve on that defensively. And then offensively, what I'd like to see is Will Levis and Malik, both of them, improving that internal clock in their head mm-hmm. when they're in the pocket. Because, you know, they were just – Seemed like they were just a second or two too late. They would give it an extra pat when it didn't need it. Right. Or, you know, they just they wouldn't get the ball out. They're both athletic enough. They yeah. wouldn't tuck the ball and, and run. Yeah. So, but they both had good pocket awareness with their feet and such during the game. Mm-hmm. But I just want them to be a little more decisive. Absolutely.